Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now a lot of you have asked what's the difference between the FDR-AX100, commonly just referred to as the AX100, and the Sony RX10 II, commonly referred to as the Sony RX10 Mark II. Now what I'm doing, I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison and throughout this video I'll alternate between the two cameras. I've got them side-by-side their own uh, Mi Photo tripods if you're curious about that. I'm capturing the audio in this video with a, um, and, and if you're watching this is the combined video, the audio is coming from the Sony stereo mic that's on the AX100. Uh, what I've also done is you can watch this video separately with the AX100 or the RX10 II. Now on the RX10 II, I've got a different mic on it. I've got the uh, the Sony Zoom mic, and again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the uh, the link to both of these cameras, the lens filters, the batteries, the microphones, the tripods, everything that I'm using. So check that link, and it's all there. If you can't find it, just ask. As far as the cameras themselves, they're both set up to 4K, 30 frames per second at 100 megs per second. So 30 frames per second. 100 megs per second for the for the right same memory card again check the link within this video's description you can find the memory card i'm using it's actually rated for 150 megs per second so it greatly exceeds that uh, 100 meg per second write speed as far as the lens filters on both cameras i've got the exact same filter uh, it's the b and w haze filter the uv haze filter again it's in this video's description everything i'm talking about is there uh, but I just wanted to do a, uh, a video quality comparison. Now, obviously, it's very sunny out here today. It's extremely hot. Uh, but I wanted to do a side-by-side -side video comparison because if you're, if you're not like me and you don't have both cameras, then you may want to know what the difference is from a, from a video quality perspective. And ultimately, I have both of these cameras. My thing is video, shooting video in auto mode uh, because I've been using the, uh, the AX100 and I'd have to check the timestamps on my video, but check out my unboxing video on that. Uh, that's when I actually got the AX100. It's been many months, and actually I upgraded uh, to 4K, and I, I stepped up from a Canon AX, AX10, XA10 rather, uh, that you know obviously topped out at 1080p. But I stepped up from it to this AX100. I've been I've been nothing but completely satisfied with it. I mean, it's for someone that does video and needs 4K, and even if you don't need 4K, if you're filming in, uh, in lower resolutions, that's fine. Uh, but I've been very satisfied with the 4K performance of it. Uh, but what I don't like to do, I don't necessarily like to travel with my, uh, with my field equipment, with my studio equipment. I'm, I'm checking the app right now to make sure I'm still in the frame on the, uh, on the RX-10 II. But I don't like to travel with my studio equipment, so in a perfect world, what I like to do is have the same video quality in a in a camera type form factor. So the RX10 II, I don't know, you tell me. Do you think the RX10 II video is as good, about the same or better than the AX100? Because I really need to know. Uh, because ultimately what I want to do with the RX10 II is make it my field, uh, field video camera. And then obviously having the benefit with it to shoot high quality stills as well. It's got a very nice, it's a bridge camera, uh, which means you cannot detach the lens, but it's got a very nice Carl Zeiss lens. And, and in my opinion, the video quality is great. But this is the first time that I put these cameras on the tripod side by side at the same location, just for the sake of finding a, uh, if any differences between the, the 4K 30 frames per second video quality of the two, is noticeable so I'm curious about this myself so at the time of, of talking about this I don't know because I haven't returned to the studio to uh, to edit the video so tell me what you think and I hope this video is helpful for you because it's uh, you know with 4k and and there's a lot of people that still feel that uh, that 4k is is something that's a waste of money right now uh, but I think more people are starting to see what I saw when I first got my 4K camera, this AX100. Uh, they're seeing that that uh, the Ultra HD, the 4K televisions, 
they're becoming less and less expensive and they're becoming more and more popular because people are buying those sets even if they're not yet in a position where they can watch 4k content satellite providers cable providers etc they can watch uh, 1080p content that's up converted looks near 4k quality and the big thing about it is youtube like i'm on they can if they've got a smart tv that's 4k you're probably watching this because you're looking for content if you're not trying to decide which 4k camera to buy you're probably watching this to uh to see the quality of your 4k tv because when you watch this or any of my 4k videos and then you watch a standard uh full hd 1920 by 1080 the difference is mind-blowing and i'm only using my smart tv is only a 55 inch 4k and it's night and day for me and a lot of people will say oh there's no difference you know 4k is so even if you well, let's say this say you don't even care about creating 4k content if you film in 4k you're still getting uh you're still getting better it, if you film in 4k and then publish in 1080p it's still going to look better than something that was filmed natively in 1080p because you've got uh you were you were filming natively at 4k so it got a better when it was capturing that video it did a better job of capturing it than a native uh, 1080p hd camera would so that's something else to consider but check out these two videos again this is the combined one and as you've seen i've gone throughout this video i've gone back and forth but again with this particular video if you're watching the combined video then all of this audio in the combined video is coming from the sony stereo mic on the uh on the ax100 but if you're watching these separately if you're watching the ax100 video obviously that audio is coming from uh, uh coming from the sony stereo mic on the ax100 but if you're watching the rx102 video that's by itself then that audio is coming from the uh from the sony zoom mic that's attached to the rx102 so it's going to be interesting from my perspective as well, this, this video test kind of serves multiple, well, it serves an, an abundance of purposes, and one of those being uh, the audio quality of these external mics, because I wanted to test those out and see, you know, what's my best field mic? Do I want to travel with the, uh, with the uh, stereo external Sony mic, or do I want to travel with the Zoom uh, external Sony mic? And I mean, they both got, they both got their advantages, uh, but both of them, are uh they're phantom powered they're powered by the i forget what it's called is it the multi-shoe interface whatever sony calls it their hot shoe on the top and so you don't have to deal you don't have to fumble with batteries with them like you do some other popular mics and that's nice that's just one less thing to have to you know check the battery levels of because it's pulling the pulling the uh, power from your uh, from your camera's battery so tell me what you think and i know a lot of you have been waiting for this video and i appreciate you uh appreciate you being patient because I've got so many videos that you know if you watch my channel you know that I've got thousands of videos and it's it's getting around to it and actually creating the video but everything I say I'm going to create I do everything in my power to try to make it happen so uh, with that being said I hope this video is beneficial share it with others and again if you're if you don't have these cameras or maybe you've got the cameras and you don't have the accessories yet uh, check the link within this video's description because you can find everything there. And if you can't find everything you need listed within the link within this video's description, shoot me a message by way of my Facebook page, my website, and uh, I'll do, or my website rather, and I'll do my best to try to find those items for you because if they're not listed, it's probably something I could find a link to and save you a lot of time trying to search it down. So uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward, sl forward slash. Irix guy. Y'all have a good day.